Good morning, everyone. I just wanted to share some worship with you. I'm going to share a song that really has blessed my life in the past and maybe some in the future that I will put on just little videos of worship. So I just wanted to bless you today. Um, there'll be moments that we may do lives of worship and intercession. So just be on the lookout for it. We bless you. Have an amazing day today and always. When my hands stretch out towards the sky, you Take us deeper, take us deeper, take us deeper. Yes, take us deeper this morning.
Yes, that was so good. So I just wanted to give you that morning devotional type of worship. Um, I just wanted to read some verses off to you in reference to worship. John 4, 24 says, God is spirit and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. There's a spirit and there's a truth. We have to be honest when we're in worship. Psalms 95, 6, it says, oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. There is something that we physically have to do with our bodies. We have to be humble. We have to be humble of heart and humble of posture and position before him, the Lord, our maker. Um, John 4, 23, it says, but the hour is coming and is now here when the true worshipers will worship the father in spirit and truth. There goes spirit and truth again, for the father is seeking such people to worship him. He is seeking a worshiper. He's not seeking someone who just believes, but who's willing to make everything about him, to worship him, to worship him in spirit and in truth where it has nothing to do so much with your physical being or how talented you are, but it's of spirit, of heart, of all our might, like David, where it was just so undignified. It was so just, it was ugly. You know, his own wife said like, how dare you do that? And, and he was just like, if you thought that was bad, wait till I come back again and I'm going to do it even worse. I'm going to be more undignified. So I just feel like if we can just remove all the paradigms and how it sounds and how it looks and how we we're dressed and we just come before the Lord and we make worship about him, our lives and our worship will be catapulted to a level that it will be the heavens come down and we are worshiping with the angels and the presence and the worshiping will shift our lives and shift our atmospheres. So I just pray that you have an amazing blessed day and that this little worship clip will just bless your life and that you will continue to just worship God in spirit and truth. I love you all. God bless you.